shoulder abduction with external rotation. So they put my power band, I'm gonna stand on it, take up some of the slack. Okay, not a lot, just a bit. Go easier with this one. Yeah, it doesn't look hard, but start with a fair amount of slack and then build it up. Put my feet nicely stacked under my knees, under my hips. And then what I'm gonna do is with the arm which I've got, I'm gonna lift it up to the side. And but as I'm lifting, if you watch my hand, my hand turns out, yeah? So I'm keeping my arm nice and straight. I'm lifting and I'm turning at the same time. But I'm not coming above waist height. I'm staying below the height of where my belt would be. And I'm turning the hand as I go. And the other important thing is I'm imagining I'm trapped between two sheets of glass. So my hand isn't coming forward and it isn't coming backwards. It's only coming straight out to the side, turning and then returning to the start position. Okay, we don't want to lift too high. We're like trying to trying to work two of the um, rotator cuff muscles here. And if you're going too high, we're going to start recruiting other larger muscles, which we don't want to get involved. We'll just continue this fashion. Start light with this one. And then as, you, as it builds up, you can increase a bit of tension, but you never want to do this with a heavy weight. Okay, it should only be with a resistance band and a fairly light one of that. 